Hi there. In a previous video, we solved the run length encoding and decoding problem. However, the implementation of the basic run length encoding and decoding algorithm has an expected quirk where inputs that have a run length of 1 would be processed into a string of length 2, thus defeating the purpose of compression. In this video, we will refactor our run length encoding and decoding algorithm to handle this special case. If you have not seen the previous video, I highly recommend watching it before continuing with this one. So this is our special case here where we have a string with runs that have a length of one and our output would be extended as opposed to compressed or unchanged. The problem stems from how we are compressing each run. We first take the, the head of our, our string and we add that number to it. So in the case of a run length of one, we have that character and we add one to it. So now we have a string of length two that we're dealing with. So it follows that refactoring our solution would mean changing our compress run function to be smarter. And in the same vein, it would also mean changing our decompress run function to accommodate the changes that we make to the compress run function. So let's jump over into the REPL. So here, if we load our file and we run the compress run function on an A, we get one A. But what we want is for this to go unchanged. So what we could do is we could say that when we have a run that has length one, do nothing to it and only attempt to compress runs that are of length two or more. So let's do that. And we can change this and use guard syntax where we say when we get a string, if the length of the string is equal to one, then we return that string. Otherwise, we do what we were doing before. Let's test this out in the REPL. If I use compress run on A, I should get A. And if I do compress run on two A's, I should get 2a. Now, with this whole solution together, the run length decode function would break because we have not yet changed the decompress run function to accommodate the change that we made to the compress run function. So we will need to do that. And in the same way, we can use the guard syntax to say that when the length of a compressed run is one, then we return the compressed run. So that will be our compressed run being just a letter. We will just return that letter. And otherwise, we do what we were always doing. So let's try that out. So if we reload our file and decompress an A, we should get an A. And if we decompress a 2A, we should get two A's. Now let's run this all together. If I run length and code ABC, I should get ABC. And if I run length 
decode my encoded ABC, I should get ABC. And that is the refactored solution to our run length encoding and decoding algorithm to handle the special case of uh, run lengths of length one. As usual, the link to the code will be in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Let me know what you think of the refactoring here and how you might have done it and follow me on Twitter and Medium at Onel Harrison if you'd like to see my content on those channels. Until next time, peace.